Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video is a surprise on my bathroom remodel. This is project one, by the way. And refreshing my bathroom is about time. So first of all, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon when you notify new videos, and I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. So this is the hallway bathroom that you're looking at in our home. And uh, it looks beautiful, but it has some problems. You know, for one, you can see the the fixtures just move around like that all the time. And, you know, it's due for a, a refresh. And we've been saving money for this for a while. And uh, what I'm told, if you remove the faucet by the plumber, which did charge me $75 just to remove the faucet. And this is looks inside. He said, well, I could take every, draw a big hole and fix that movement. Yeah, put a piece of wood behind it or something, right? But uh, definitely our bathroom needs a refresh. And the shower door is on its last legs. I actually fixed it by drilling another hole on the side. And it's also a lot of corrosion as well. So we're off to floor and decor. And it has some great ideas. One of which I want to highlight is this nice uh, box over here. Like a shampoo box, I would call it, right? It looks beautiful. And it's not as simple to install as it is. But unless you're a contractor, you're probably an expert on this thing. It's so beautiful with these rocks inside. And, it, you know, it takes some time to do, I'm pretty sure. But it definitely, you want a professional to do a, make it beautiful. But unless you know how to do it, then that's a different story altogether. So the contractor that we used, and he took everything off, including the tub. We're changing the tub as well. So this is how it looks like with the shampoo box. And the waterproofing has begun, right? I didn't photograph every single part of it with a curry board in the back, of course. And, you know, it started with the porcelain tile. Got these from floor decor, if you're interested. And there's a lot of different varieties, so on. And we try to make the lines as small as possible. So the grout line, that is. So, and you could see that once everything is grouted and everything like that, all right? We also have the, the end piece over there. And this is how it looks like when everything's completed, right? Except for the the you know, shower fixture, right? And another view of that over here. I noticed that we choose the different type of rocks, which is quite beautiful if you ever get a chance to take a look at these. And every floor decor has a different design. Um, you know, looking over here, you'll notice that <clears throat> everything's completed out. You got our tub. We got the tub from Home Depot. Great price. Nice tub and very impressive it. Uh, we got the the faucet fixtures and stuff like that from uh, Home Depot, by the way. So they had a great selection. So we chose that one. And of course, the tile I mentioned earlier, the porcelain tile, we didn't go with uh, marble because marble changes color over time. You don't want to get marble. So if you watch from the beginning, we have marble. Culture marble. Culture marble. That was up there. So you can see that. It looks pretty good and it, it turns out pretty well overall and you know we gotta probably like paint the walls and stuff like that but uh, you can see the design on this one i mean that's like the trend that's going on right now and i actually like love this shampoo box um after installing this one i actually probably want to go one size bigger so my next project we're going to go one size bigger the the perimeter you know those little pieces on the perimeter those are called pencil if you ever get a chance to look at uh, some of the stores, they would store those. And uh, you could get a different design, different look. And But it does protrude a little bit outward. So you note that. So we're going to get the shower head and put it over here. And we're also going to get the, the shower door as well too. So I'm going to show you that video because we already did that already. And this is the capture. And this one, we have a tub. So we got, you know... Got a drain and everything like that as well, too. Project is definitely, uh, <clears throat> leave it to the experts, uh, unless you're an expert on remodeling. Um, I put the info for the, the Chrome piece and such also in the description. Uh, so this one is the Dreamline Encore. I uh, got this from Lowe's. I think you can find Home Depot, too, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, that's a nice, <clears throat> seamless frameless sli uh, sliding chrome all right bathroom door 
bathtub door that is. It's over the bathtub. There's the ones that come for the, the shower as well too. Sorry, there's a little bit of yellowish light because yes, our uh, shower has uh, the wiggle light, not the, the white light. And that's the finished project. And uh, clear max window. Good thing about this uh, sliding door also is that uh, soap marks don't stain it. They have some special coating. And uh, everything is very smooth and solid. Very firm and solid, put it that way. So that's my video surprise today. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. I'll post more videos on remodeling projects for the people interested in homes. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.